Um, no one, no, looking at you, that you've had a, a tough upbringing. I yeah. mean, was that, because they say humour is born out of poverty and dire circumstances. This is not funny, this bit. This is sad. This is sad. This is part of this man's life. Thank you. Oh, it, it was quite tough. I was an only child. Yes. And so was my brother. <laughs> we, um, we didn't, we didn't, she's laughing. Um, we didn't have very much money, we couldn't afford toys, and all I had to play with was a transistor. Yeah. Well, my brother dressed him in mum's clothes. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> clapping. But he, he, was, he, was, he wasn't very bright. No. And one day I caught him in the kitchen, he was on the floor and he was crying. I said, what's wrong? He said, I can't do this flipping jigsaw puzzle. I said, calm down. Um, what is it? He said, it's a picture of a tiger, but the pieces just won't fit. So I put my arm around him. I said, why don't we put the Frosties back in the box? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, he doesn't, does he? He's a... You never stop moving. No. Do you ever have time for romance and building a relationship? I always end up asking things. That's interesting. No. Question. Well, Des quite often asks me this, and you know, Des, I've never been <laughs> successful with girls. Um, particularly girls of the opposite sex. <laughs> I did have a girlfriend once. I met her at a dance in the open air, under the stars, on the grass. She looked beautiful. She had her hair in a bun yeah. and her nose in a cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't waste time chatting her up. I gave her a sexy, I gave her a sexy smile and we fell into each other's arms. It wasn't romance. The gr grass was a bit slippy. Um, <laughs> We started waltzing, and she loves waltzing, and I love waltzing. So the only people upset were the band who were playing heavy rock music. <laughs> that's, that's about the size of it. <laughs> if you get any time to relax, mm -hmm. is, it, so, is it a little drink down at the local? Is, or is it, um, there's uh, a lovely... I live in a village, you see, and there's a lovely local pub near me called the lovely local pub near me. <laughs> Funny enough. And... Um, there's some lovely characters. There's some lovely characters. Have you seen anyone at any time? There's a man. <laughs> you should I'm get seeing... checked out. <laughs> I'm seeing you now, Des. And there's a guy who stands at the end of the bar every night. He always orders three whiskies in three separate glasses and drinks them down separately. One, two, three. I'm obviously a ventriloquist, so he couldn't drink and speak at the same time. Anyway, I said, why do you... Thanks. Why... Do you always order three whiskies in three separate glasses? He said, well, I've got two brothers, and they live in America, and we never get a chance to meet. So it's like we're having a drink together. And I thought that was lovely. But last night when I went in, he ordered two whiskies in two glasses and drank them. And I thought, oh, no, because you don't like to say anything, do you? You don't. I do. I said, um, are your brothers all right? He said, yeah, they're fine. It's me that's given up drinking. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, see, he is a one-off. He is, isn't he? Probably we should be grateful for that. <laughs> <laughs> I love his dress, then. Knock out.